guys, Sammy here, Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making some ghee, G-H-E-E, -E, and I thought I'd bring you along with me. Ghee is a must-have on our homestead, and basically what it is is clarified butter. Um, it's also known as liquid gold, if you've heard of liquid gold. Um, what is so desirable about ghee is the fact that um, once you remove the milk fats and the water from the butter, it becomes shelf stable. And so basically it's like shelf stable butter, okay? I have my oven set at 250 right now, and basically um, we're going to put it in the oven and it's gonna cook, I'll leave it in there for about an hour, and it's going to cook out uh, the water and the milk fats are going to settle down at the bottom. I'll show you that um, when it starts to happen. I am going to put my butter into this clear pan here. You can use whatever kind of pan that you want. And I'm going to put it on my middle rack. But basically you want to have it, you know, um, big enough to where your butter can melt in there and won't splatter over or, you know, overflow or whatever. Um, the better the butter you have, the better your ghee is going to be. Um, I prefer grass-fed butter, and that's usually what we use, but I did find a sale. I'm always trying to find sales, and I just couldn't pass it up. So I do have this butter here um, unsalted. I have, oh, let's see, five pounds that I'm going to do. Six pounds. I've got five pounds of unsalted, and I have this one of salted. And I'm going to go ahead and um, melt all those together today, and I'll show you how to do it. So basically, I am just opening these up and dropping them in my pan here. Okay, so I have that all done. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into my oven in the middle rack and my oven is set at 250. Some people save their wrappers once they've taken them off their butter sticks. They fold them up, they put them up in their refrigerator or their freezer and so whenever they wanna grease a pan for cake or whatever, um, just take one out, open it up, and grease their pan. Voila. Okay, so this has been in the oven for an hour at 250. And I just want to show you that I'm going to kind of skim back this top here. That's the water. It's mostly evaporated out of there. Can you see that? That is liquid gold, y'all. Beautiful. And then down here is where, if you can see down at the bottom there, that's, that's the milk fats down there that have settled at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this through um, some cheesecloth into um, a container that I can pour it into my jars. Okay, I have this glass uh, measuring bowl. This is what I'm gonna pour my liquid into. So that, see this spout here, so I can just pour it into my jars. And then I have just a regular strainer here. It's a screen strainer. I have folded my cheesecloth into four ways. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm just gonna pour my liquid directly into here. Now you can skim this top part off of here. This is just another option. Skim this top part off of here. Get you a ladle and get out that liquid gold with your ladle and just ladle it into your jars or to another container to pour into your jars. Um, that's just another option. Um, I prefer to pour it through my cheesecloth and that way I just have no worries about it. Okay, that's just another option. All right, I'm going to carefully pour this hot liquid through my cheesecloth. It's kind of just going down the side here. It's okay. Okay, I have reached my level here. My, my bowl is full, so I'm going to take this out and set it off to the side until I get my... Um, ghee poured into some of my jars. I'm going to use my tool here to get my jar because it is extremely hot. My jars are hot. Okay, and I'm going to fill that almost to the top. And set this off to the side and grab another. Now I still have some in my um, bowl over there that I have to put in here, so I'm just, this stuff is loaded with health benefits. It nourishes your colon. 
Um, this also has a smoke point, smoking point of 485 degrees, so you can fry with it, sear your steaks with it, cook your eggs. Anything that you use butter for, you can use ghee. You can put this on your baked potatoes, cook with it. If it calls for butter in your recipe, use this. And I don't know if I said before, but this is like almost like a butter substitute. Um, if you're lactose intolerant. Oh yeah, that's still a little hot. Let's see if I can get one more pint out of here before I fill up my glass bowl again. Because I have a little bit more over there in my other bowl. Alright, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my rims and get my lids on here while this is still straining. You want to make sure that your jars are completely dry before you pour the ghee into them. And also your cheesecloth needs to be dry. Completely dry. Now I'm not going to process these, okay? These are not going to be processed. These are going to be vacuum sealed. My jars are hot. My liquid is hot. So after I get these on, they should seal when they start cooling down which would be probably, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, hopefully. Could be longer. It's still pretty hot. Ooh. One more here. Now this is taking its time because it this is the part that had most of the milk fat. But it's getting there. I might get another pint out of that. So that's it guys. There's the liquid gold. Is that beautiful or what? Do you see why they call it liquid gold? Does that remind you of stuff they put on your popcorn at the movie theater? Anyway, I have mentioned the health benefits of this stuff, but let me tell you, it is also delicious, okay? It is so good. Um, this will go in my pantry, on my shelf, and will last for years to come. It won't last that long. I'll have to make more, but it could last for years to come. I hope you give this a try, you guys. Have a blessed day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.